Yeah. Hi, I'm Katie Dorsey. And I'm Rachel Wallace. And, and this, this is Jaguar, Jaguar News. News. On August 26, 2016, Spalding High lost to our crosstown rival Griffin High 50-53 to during our football game. We ran around the school and asked some students how they reacted to this, and then later interviewed Coach Davis and Coach Myers about our upcoming football season. Here is a video that Rachel put together about our students' reactions. What was your reaction to the Jags losing to Griffin last weekend? What do you think our loss means for our upcoming football season and how do we bounce back from it? Uh, I think it's going to uh, help us tremendously. Uh, all last season, all season I've been talking about us not being complacent. I think that's uh, the case. And by losing a rivalry game early in the season, it's going to humble us, not only the players but the coaches, uh, to go out and do better and work harder. And that's what we've seen this week going into the Jonesboro game and I think it's just going to drive us us uh, to the next level. I think it was a humbling experience last Friday. I feel like it's going to be something that helps motivate us and refocus on, on what our goals are this season. And I think we're going to bounce back big time after this because you know, we were served up a little humility. This past Friday, our Jags redeemed themselves, beating Jonesboro 22-0. Great job, Jags. Our next home game is this Friday, the 9th, against Lovejoy. Our in-school topic this week is homework. We interviewed a couple of students and asked them about their load or if they had homework at all. Here are some clips. Hi, my name is Nubi Larios and I'm here with Dan Bright. So, are you assigned homework in your classes? I am. Most of the time, almost every class, so. Well, how much? Um, depending on what class and what we do that day, it's really uh, just depending on the teacher, but most of the time it's a lot, especially the classes that I take, so. Okay. Well, before starting, how long do you think you'll be doing this? I try to say that I want to give myself about two hours, maybe an hour, depending on how much I got or um, what needs to be done. But, yeah, at most, I want it to be done within two hours. Okay, so, like, how long do you actually Probably about 30 minutes. And if it's not done, then it's just not done because I have work. And I have to get stuff out of the way. Well, do you have free time? Uh, depending on what days I work, and I mean, when I get done with the homework, it's very little, but that just comes with school stuff. So, how much do you have? Let's see. Depending on the class, really, what you're doing in the class, um, what day it is, uh, it's really, you could be studying or you could be doing an entire packet that you didn't finish. Right, or, so how do you spend your free time? I usually try to study as much as I can from school or just watch sports or something like that. Okay, well that's my interview. This is my interview with Devin Wright. Hey, I'm Rachel Wallace with Macy Davis. Okay, so are you assigned homework in your classes? Yes. How much? Um, probably like 45 minutes a night. Okay, before starting it, how long do you think you'll spend doing it? 30 minutes, probably. And how long do you actually spend on it? 20 minutes. <laughs> how much free time do you have and how do you spend it? Um, I have a lot of free time and I hang out with my friends. If you could completely ban homework, like only classwork and nothing at home, would you? No, because I think it can 
help people. Okay, thank you. Some students are being given too much homework and not getting a good night's rest. I agree with Ms. Davis on her statement that homework helps with knowledge. Therefore, it should not be taken away completely. In other school news, we are having a four-square tournament this Friday. Be sure to buy your tickets at lunch for Mr. Barnes before Thursday if you would like to come. Don't forget to tune in next week to Jaguar News. See ya!